Chapter Three: Integrations Two. These are the topics to be covered in this chapter, which include standard integral, functions of a linear functions, integral of form integration f x and f prime x dx, integrations by part, integrations by partial fractions. And also integrations of trigonometric functions. Without further ado, let us get started. Standard integrations. The integrations is a reverse process of differentiations. Let us take this as an example. For a function f x which is equals to two x square. After differentiations, it becomes f prime x, which is equals to four x. The power two here will be brought forward to the front to be multiplied with the constants, and the power two here will be minus by one. That gives you four x. And the reverse process of this, which is the integrations, will give you. 2x squared. The power 1 here is to be plus with 1, and the new power here is to be put as a division below the functions. That gives you 2x squared. As you can see here, the differentiations and the integrations are at their opposite directions. On top of that, there is one more thing that you need to know. Differentiating a constant number here will end up to become zero after differentiation. As the respective number has disappeared, when you want to do the integrations, you may have missed the constant number here. As there is no clue about the constant number at the integrations, Normally, we put a constant c here to indicate the existence of a constant number. In the case that we have additional information regarding the c here, we are able to recover the constant here. Therefore, when we want to do an integration of any of the functions, we will always put a c here. To indicate the potential existence of a constant number, similar to the differentiations, there are a series of formulas for us to solve the standard integral problems. These formulas are normally derived from the common differentiation functions, which is in the reverse versions. And there will always be a c at the end of the function. As long as you can memorize the functions for the differentiations, you will be able to know the formulas for the integrations.